Hello everyone. Let's solve this problem very quickly. Solution. I have root x minus square root of x minus 2 equals 1. Now, the first step that I'm going to take is this. I will have root x bring minus 1. This one becomes minus 1 here. And it's equal to this, which is square root of x minus 2. It is negative on the left, but on the right, it becomes positive. Now, what do I do again? I have to eliminate this square root. And I do that by squaring both sides. So, I will still square the left-hand side. But then, for me to square the left-hand side, I need to have it in two places. So, I have square root of x minus 1, then multiply by square root of x minus 1. And this will now be equal to, this square root and square will cancel each other. So, I have x minus 2. Now, let us open this bracket. Let's open this, um, what we have here. Root x times root x will give us ordinary x. Then root x times minus 1 will give us minus root x. Then minus 1 times root x will give us minus root x. And then minus 1 times 1 will give us plus 1. This is equal to x minus 2. Right? Okay, so from here now, we have x minus 2 root x plus 1 equal to x minus 2. Now, what have I done? What I've done is to add these two middle terms, minus root x minus root x, is for us to put it together and still have the negative. That's what I've done there. Now, we have x and x on both sides they can cancel each other so minus 2 root x plus 1 is equal to minus 2 at this point i will have to collect like terms minus 2 root x will be equal to minus 2 minus um, 1 because this minus 2 will come first then plus 1 becomes minus 1 on the right now, what do I do from here? I will have minus 2 root x to be equal to minus 3. Minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3. Now, divide both sides by minus 2 and divide this by minus 2. This, okay, this is minus 2. Minus 2 will cancel itself. Then, square root of x is equal to negative, negative will go. And I have 3 over 2. Now, the next question is, how do we remove the square root? We remove the square root by squaring both sides. And then I have to square this side too. This will cancel this. Then x will be equal to 3 over 2 all squared. Now, this is the same thing as 3 squared all over 2 squared. From here, we take a step x is equal to 3 squared is 9 and then 2 squared is 4 so this is the value of x but are we really correct remember this is the equation we are, sol we are solving we have root x minus open bracket x minus 2 and we have this to be equal to 1 now let's put this value into this equation we have square root of 9 over 4. Then minus, on this side, I'm going to have square root of 9 over 4 minus 2. Okay, so this is what we have. Now the question is, if we evaluate what we have here, are we going to have 1 as our answer? Now, square root of 9 over 4 is 3 over 2. 
then minus going into this bracket um, square root I will still write it remember this could be over 1 so this will give us 4 here then 4 divided by 4 is 1 times 9 is 9 minus 4 divided by 1 is 4 4 times 2 is 8 so we are going to have 8 here so this is what we have we'll take a step further so we are having 3 over 2 minus square root of 9 minus 1 is 1. 9 minus 8 is 1 and it's over 4. Now square root of 1 is 1 and square root of 4 is 2. So we are having 3 over 2 minus 1 over 2. Okay, because square root of 4 is 1. Now, find the LCM of both of them. We have 2. Then, 3 minus 1 comes up. And this will give us 2 over 2. And it is equal to 1. Okay, so remember, it is the same one that we are looking for. So this means that we are very correct to say that x is equal to 9 over 4. Thank you for watching.